Exactly five years have passed since these tapes were made in the radio networks and the emergency call centers. The other tower just collapsed, major collapse, major collapse. Despite the time elapsed from the attack, only in the past year most of these tapes were released to the press. At first they were used by different committees of inquiry, then they were transferred to the families of the victims. Some of the tapes are still confidential to the family's request. But still, the voices heard on the tapes speak for themselves. For instance, a call of a woman trapped in the World Trade Center towers to 911 that was released just a few weeks ago. Hold on one second, please. I'm going to die, aren't I? No, 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 no. Say your I'm going to die. Ma'am, ma'am, ma ma say your prayers. And we're not going to die. We're going to think positive because you've got to help each other get off the floor. I'm going to die. No. No. Stay calm, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. Oh, You're doing a good job, ma'am. You're doing no. a good job. You're it's so job. hot. I'm burning up. In a matter of 51 minutes, two airplanes crashed into the World Trade Center Twin Towers and one crashed into the Pentagon. Here it is one of the rare images that document the collapse of the Northern Tower from the air. It's gone! The whole tower! It's gone! Holy crap! They knocked the whole freaking thing down! According to the Committees of Inquiry's conclusions, about 16,000 people were in the Twin Towers at the time of the crash in the floors located under the crash point. Most of them were able to escape through the stairways before the towers collapsed, but many were trapped inside alive. I'm a civilian! I'm trapped inside of one of the fire trucks underneath the collapse that just happened! Stand by, there's people close to you! I can't breathe much longer! Please save me! 2,992 people were killed on September 11, 2001, during the crashes of the four kidnapped planes. Despite the general belief, it's now known that there were passengers acting against the kidnappers on board all the planes. In one plane, they succeeded and prevented a crash into the White House.